appreciate that. Blue. Roxy. Time out. <coughs> Time out. Thank you, Roxy. Roxy, thank you. Blue, you okay? Did you see anything wrong with that? I really didn't. But I heard it. Was not thrilled. Blue really doesn't make much noise. He was making noise. Growling. She doesn't growl during tug at all, which made her start growling, because she's mimicking him during play. You good, Blue? So, yeah. You gotta, we always got to remember, when we start making decisions, are they because how we feel about the situation, or is it actually okay for the situation? I want him to stop because I was feeling uncomfortable. As you can tell, nothing negative came out of it. But because I was feeling nervous and insecure about it, unsure, a little fearful, I stopped it. We always got to remember how we feel about something is how we're going to dictate how we react to something. Especially during play. Doesn't mean we have to stop it and make sure everybody's okay and reward and everything else. Let the conversation kind of play out. Ask. Talk to your dog. Let them know that you're in the situation too. This is Scott with AffectiveDog.com, your nomadic dog trainer. And you saw I was able to give Roxy cuddles. Thank you, Blue. <clears throat> Be right back. All right, I'll take her out. She's coming with you. You ready, Ringo? You ready, Roxy? She did nothing wrong. He did nothing wrong. But it made me feel a certain way. So I had it stop. 